We have taken over. This has been a Global Dax presentation. Am I seeing red? No, I'm seeing Winter Garden's Red Beet Eggs! A popular protein boost found at truck stops from around the world. <coughs> Two luscious hard-boiled eggs, soaked in light vinegar, and inoculated with the earthy taste of red beets. They may look like beets, but rest assured, they are eggs! <sighs> My apologies in advance, because I'm going to be in a horrible, more perturbed mood than usual. Why? Well, for one thing, I haven't gotten a decent night's sleep in five days. I don't know what the heck it is. I don't know what the reason would be. Maybe it's like Yagami number two barking at her head off all day and all night, just keeping me awake at peak hours of the night. Or maybe in the back of my brain, I was dreading this episode of Yuck or Yum. What makes you think that there would be any part of this that might be appetizing to me? I mean, you go back and you watch the history of Yucker Yum all the way dating back when it had a different title. You'll notice I've had, what was it, 7-Eleven two eggs or it was something like, it was like a very bare bones title, but it was like 7-Eleven pre-wrapped eggs. And those things were disgusting. All right. Those things were like, I, I referred to them as trucker snacks. I went to a whole spiel on that episode. Go back and watch that episode if you haven't, if you haven't seen it. It was disgusting. Be, be sure you have a barf bag handy while you're watching that one. Be sure you have a barf bag handy when you're watching this one. But yeah, I didn't like that. I, I thought it was gross. Then you go back and you watch all the different beet things that I've eaten. Beet-related juices, beet-related, just beet-flavored things, just, ugh, just the taste of beets, salted beets, even unsalted beets taste like they're nuking you with salt. But I hated them. I think I've made it pretty damn clear that Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 doesn't like beets! He hates them! I don't care if you like them! There's certain things that I, I'm going to hate. It doesn't matter how well you prepare them, I'm going to hate beets. So what makes... What makes the Divinity Creep think that infusing the two eggs from 7-Eleven with all the beet crap that I've eaten for this show, put them together, maybe they'll be something delicious? There is no chance in hell! Hey! No chance! That's what you got! No chance in hell that this is gonna taste good! What would be... I think my head would explode if I put this in my mouth and it was actually good! Could you imagine? How would, how would the planets align? How would, like, some miracle stroke from the man upstairs himself? This would actually taste appetizing! What am I looking at? Winter gardens, good lord, they probably exist in eternal winter all year long, presents to you red beet eggs. This is not your typical thing, like, I don't want to give away where I used to live when I was alive, but you'd never see something like this on store shelves there. I mean, we would see the 7-Eleven eggs, yeah, sure, but infused with beet flavor? Mm -mm. This is more like a Pennsylvania thing, or like, like areas of the South, stuff like that. You'll always find, like, even in, like, like their versions of 7-Eleven or, 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 you know, discount stores or even, like, hobby stores and stuff like that, you'll find all sorts of products like this, big jugs of eggs pickled and brined and infused with all sorts of weird flavors like jalapeno-flavored eggs, buffalo wing-flavored eggs, which, you know I love buffalo wings. I probably would vomit if I ate that. Um, just eggs floating in brine, like vegetable flavored brine and infused with that flavor because they've been soaking so long. Um, but yeah, apparently the, the people at the Divinity Crate were just feeling generous and decided to take an old trip down to, to Pennsylvania and bestow these upon me. And I knew they were coming. I just knew it was just a matter of time. But 
Good lord, can anything that exists in nature give off a color that is this robust and this deep? Good lordy bagordy. Thankfully it smells more like an egg than it does like a beet, but I've got proper accoutrements here. I want, I'm curious as all hell to cut this thing open and see what the cross section looks like. I wonder if it's going to be beet red like the outside. I would imagine so. Oh look! It's actually kind of cute! It's more of like a pink color. I guess the, the beet juice didn't get, like, it didn't, like, penetrate the egg too far. It did infuse it with a little bit of a pink, you know, a little bit of a pink tone, and the yolk looks a little bit untouched. So, maybe it won't be so bad. Um, I do like the taste of eggs. I like, you know, when I was a little kid and it was Easter time, you know, I would color eggs to my heart's content, and I would crack those things open and eat them one by one. I thought they were delicious. You put a little bit of paprika and like a little bit of, of like a mound of, of mayonnaise on each one, they were quite delectable. I, I like the taste of eggs. It's just that those other eggs, I mean, when they come into a packet like this and they've just been hanging on a hook in like a convenience store or a 7-Eleven, it's just odd. It's, a, you know, just, I don't want to be getting real food from a truck stop. A truck stop, you'd get like candy bars or beef jerky, eggs, I mean, come on, I don't understand why anybody would do that, but I guess if you really need protein on the road, right? All right, I'm gonna take my first bite. Hopefully it's more beet, hopefully it's more egg than it is beet. I'm sorry, my head took a beating there. I'm gonna use that joke in every episode, by the way. like beets. You might like this because you could probably put together the taste in your head. Picture an egg the way an egg tastes with a tiny tiny shred of that beet, beet taste just like floating around in there like dancing around the egg as it's swishing around in your mouth. We get that beet taste it's not as horrible as some of the beet items that I've had on the show. But as I'm chewing this thing, every fiber of my being is wishing that that beet flavor wasn't there. Because there is potential for this to taste like that sweet, delicious Easter egg that I had when I was a child. But somebody dropped this damn egg in a big pack full of beets. And it rolled around and rolled around, you picture, it was a giant slope filled with beets that were growing there for some farm decided to adapt some new technique called slope farming and somebody accidentally tripped and dropped all their hard boiled eggs and they continued to roll, 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 down a 25 mile incline covered nothing but beets! And then that's what you get. You get this. You get some kind of like, I mean, it looks completely unnatural to the eye. It looks like something that was created by Kellogg's, like some artificial flavoring. But this is not artificial flavoring to my eye, to my knowledge, right? There's no... Hard-boiled eggs, white distilled vinegar, red beets, sugar, water, salt. Oh, no. There is red color. Blue number one and red number 40. Jeez, I'm spitting all over the place. Please do not replay that or put it in slow-mo. There is artificial color. So... Why? Why did they do this? Why did they have to make it? This makes it look less appetizing. This does not make me want to sink my teeth into this. If it looked like a regular egg, which is probably what it looked like before they put all that dye in here, it makes me want to die eating it. So if I were to give this a Hoff rating, it's not the worst thing I've had on the show, and it's definitely not the worst beet-related thing that I've had for the show but it's not as good as a regular hard-boiled hard egg. So I'm gonna give it two stars. But you know what? If you like the taste of beets, and a lot of people out there do, if you like the taste of beets, there's no reason why you shouldn't go out and try this because it's surprisingly good for what it is. I thought this was gonna be Vomit City. It's not that. I mean, the taste of the egg itself, it definitely does help matters. And even for a guy who detests beets like myself, you know, there, there's some good to be had here, so I'm not going to slam it, I'm not going to ding it completely. So this is your good buddy, Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying until next time, where I once again answer the question, is it yuck, is it yum, or is it yuck or yum? <sighs> Please, no more beat items. Please, no more beat items. Please. I do.
The interview is brought to you by consumers. Dating back to 1984, they send you this tinkly tink little booklet in the mail where you can thumb through their bust ass collection in their distributing and catalog showrooms. Everything from hunting rifles to LJN WWF figures. Hell, if you're lucky, you might find a Pearl River Neon beer clock hand spin around that son of a bitch like a rotisserie chicken. You'll find all them gimmicks and more at consumers. Alright, now the pleasantries out the way, I'd like to resume the little storyline that left us on a cliffhanger last week. I promised, and old Stone Cold always delivers on his promises. Here I have with me, live in the Bravo Studios, my arch nemesis and yours, the motherfucking Fly. Now normally we would have a lot of animosities towards one another, but I'm gonna be the better man and put all that on the side, cause I can, damn it! I am an educated human being after all, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Fly. You've got a lot of nerve making me come here for this interview, you motherfucking pussy. Now, Mr. Fly, I'm sorry if I caused you any discomfort. I'm here to make sure you have everything you need in this exclusive, long-awaited interview. You don't have a set of balls, you motherfucker. I am twice the man you'll ever be, you piece of shit. Now, I'm sorry, Mr. Fly, that you feel that way, but I got questions to ask you. If we could just have a little bit of decorum. What? What's that music? What's that music? Enjoy the world of the pink toe. Wait a minute, you sassin me, boy? What the fuck is this? Is this something like... From, from not, all the corners of is this the like world. Blue Apron? What? Now I got dogs talking to me? What the hell? Will somebody explain to me what the hell just happened? Of the finest ingredients are, are stored. The helpful packet At random, the goddamn program was over, and I was doing my announcement. You can't have a commercial announcement in the middle of a commercial announcement. Meals comparable to those you'll find at the finest four-star restaurants. If you like a particular meal, but, feel free to order it again. But damn it, my interview with the fly. I was looking forward to doing that. Damn you, Hottie Scotty! Damn you, you piece of trash! I will never forgive you for this. Never, never, never. How can you argue with that? This week's menu includes. Well, that all may be well and good for you, but this jabroni doesn't know who he's messing with. He thinks he's just gonna get one over on Stone Cold Sting Aston. He's got another thing coming. Onion quesadillas with roasted broccoli salad, veal with capers and cloves with sweet picante pepper and farro salad, savory tomato fettuccine with olive raisin sauce. Damn it! How much longer is this gonna go? What are you waiting for? Shop online to www.therealpinktote.com and start making healthier choices today. Yeah, fuck you.